Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this evening. I hope you're doing really great, and I'm doing a lot better this evening. Thankfully, still not 100%, but getting there. So we're going to be taking a look at what is going on with our system. So we've got multiple tropical cyclones uh, off the well off the east coast of the U.S. right now, and Idalia is a problem for Bermuda. So we're going to be talking about what's going on with those, but I want to focus on the tropical wave of strong wave which is making its way off the coast of Africa likely to become our next invest and eventually tropical cyclone maybe even a hurricane near or in the Caribbean and so before I go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update all right, so let us go ahead and get started. We're briefly looking at the satellite imagery. Here we can see that there's lots of showers and thunderstorms developing across parts of Northern South America due to that daytime heating. We also see some activity across parts of the Northern Caribbean, not a whole lot, and uh, in parts of the Eastern Islands going from around Dominica southward to Trinidad and Tobago, including Barbados. There's a tropical wave moving through it, helping to enhance some showers and thunderstorms. So you can let me know in the comments what's been happening for your area. But as we zoom further into the region here, we can see this big blob over here of showers and thunderstorms. So a tropical wave is in the area, helping to enhance lots of activity, possibly even bringing flooding to parts of Central America, sections of Honduras, Nicaragua, going down into Costa Rica. And there's also some activity developing in parts of Panama, going to Belize. So I please stay safe if you're being affected by this guys and uh, for most other areas there hasn't been much activity through today and so uh, now we want to go ahead and move on to our system so here we're looking at the latest outlook map from the nhc we can see that franklin and jose are in very close proximity and franklin will be absorbing jose as it continues to the northeast we have idalia as a post-tropical cyclone near bermuda and we've got tropical storm gert so gert is back up and uh, on the map this evening as a tropical storm so it was a tropical storm about a couple of weeks ago and the remnants have been lingering around since then and now here they are re-intensifying proving her resilience out there so let's go ahead and take a look at Italia a closer look here we are on the visible satellite and that blue marking that we see that is the island of Bermuda which is now under a tropical storm warning which means that tropical storm conditions are likely as we head into tomorrow so uh, there can be periods of heavy rainfall and those strong winds as well so there's that possibility of flooding so please stay safe if you're going out tomorrow guys but uh, idalia will try to regain tropical cyclone status as we can see on the infrared satellite it doesn't have a whole lot of convective activity going on with it but it will try to regain tropical storm status but eventually as it moves north it will encounter cooler waters which will allow for further weakening and eventual dissipation of the system now we're moving on to franklin and uh, eventually what is left of it could make its way into the vicinity of europe so so let's see how that goes for the mid to latter part of next week but now we want to move on to our disturbance which is off the coast of Africa so here we are looking at it and we see a 50% chance of development so the chance has been steadily rising for this to develop and we see that imminent development is not expected or likely but as it heads closer and closer to the Caribbean as it moves further west we could eventually see it start getting itself together and models are showing something that has me pretty concerned and I'll be taking you guys to that in a moment. But as we look at these satellite imagery here, we can see that we've got this big blob of activity over Africa. So all this is going to be moving off and moving toward the west. And by the way, to the northwest of it is uh, Tropical Depression 12, which is likely to, be, uh, to become Katia. So uh, the name Katia could be used by tonight or tomorrow if the depression manages to make it to tropical storm status. But it will be struggling out there as conditions get increasingly unfavorable. So now we're looking at some model data. So we're looking at the ensemble members for Euro. Now, a couple of these well are taking this very close to or in the Caribbean and even up to the Bahamas, although we're seeing a little bit of curve with some of them indicating that this might turn out to sea before getting a chance to affect the Bahamas or the US, but there is still a lot of uncertainty down the road. Now, this goes out to Monday, the 11th of September, so 10 days out from now, and uh, some of these even expecting a major hurricane. So 
that is indicated by the pink in uh, the tracks or those lines that we see major hurricane status and what I've noticed is that these Euro Ensemble tracks are shifting more and more west. So uh, if you notice that pastel right there, that shading, that is representing the high pressure systems. We're going to have that one, uh, the Azores high over there, and then another one setting up across parts of the eastern U.S. So with these being strong enough, that would allow for the disturbance to move more on a westward track. So high pressures in the northern hemisphere, they rotate in a clockwise fashion. So we'll find that the disturbance will be traveling along the periphery of it, which would be on a more westward to west northwest for a track. Going on to the GFS Ensemble members, we're seeing some more of these, expecting that we're going to have something in the Caribbean, potentially a tropical storm or even a hurricane. Some of these also expecting that we could see a major hurricane. Now, after Katia, the next name for this season is Lee. So let us see if this new tropical wave will become Major Hurricane Lee. And if you're in parts of the Caribbean, especially the East and Northern Caribbean, you want to ensure that you have those hurricane plans in place. I also have to do so i'm in jamaica so uh, we're in a region that is prone to being impacted on an annual basis not even just the caribbean region but also the bahamas and the eastern u.s so there is a lot more to come september has just begun and we're in that uh, most active part of the hurricane season going through to the middle part of october and we're about halfway through the naming list already so I believe that we're going to be seeing a lot more activity as we head into the next several weeks, guys. But I'm here to keep you posted so that you're never caught off guard. So again, we have our disturbance. This will eventually become Invest 95L uh, and it will encounter more conducive conditions as it heads closer to the Caribbean. So a reduction in all the dry air out there, those um, more favorable upper level winds because when that wind shear is strong, that really helps to prevent the system from organizing and uh, from becoming symmetrical. So, so those are likely to be more conducive for the system. And of course, we've got those very, very warm sea surface temperatures that could allow for it to eventually intensify. And again, it is important to have uh, those plants in place. So even though the system might not affect you, there could be something else down the road that could be a lot more intense. Hopefully that's not going to be the case. But with how things are headed, I would not be surprised to see multiple uh, additional major hurricanes develop in this season. So I'll be keeping you guys posted. I'll try to go into a lot more detail tomorrow. Hopefully I'm going to be feeling much better to talk for a much longer time because it's been very difficult to do so. And and I'm going to get straight back to resting and recovering from this flu, but that is what I wanted to share with you in this update, and I hope you found it to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so, and as always, remember to be weatherwise.